Now, the next few um, releases are going to seem like a step back to you, but uh, hopefully it'll make sense. So, again, we're still with Umbrella Entertainment here, the uh, Great Australian uh, Blu-ray label. And we've got the big boss. A slip case. Okay, the original artwork. How do you like yeah. it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So have a look. I never knew this is, existed. And you get a collector's call as well. So, well, you know yourself without going, like, retreading some of it, but mm -hmm. I think it's worth mentioning mm -hmm. that this was just unreal, wasn't it? This yeah. artwork. Yeah. When you saw them on the shelves and you went in, and these were on there. They went in there for very long. They caught the eye straight away. Uh, yeah. And the rank thing, it just, to me, I know they're not like the original, original artwork you would have the cinema poster, mm -hmm. but it doesn't matter. So as you know, there's been some amazing Bruce Lee uh, artwork over the oh, years. Oh, certainly, yeah, definitely. Stunning. Mm -hmm. And the new Arrow box set is absolutely brilliant. But I tell you what, I always come back to these ones. I must admit, so do I. You know, it's um, it just really easy on the eye. You know, uh, when I think of when I think of British uh, Bruce Lee VHS releases, it's that artwork which I always come back to. Yeah, always massively. I didn't even know these things existed, John. Well, you do now. Yeah, I do. Mm. So what would you say is this, because I noticed some of these things on here, Bruce Lee the Legend, of course. Yeah. Are these things you would say would tie into the Arrow release? Yeah, I mean, really, there's nothing here which I haven't already got on, on, a, dip, on a different release. Yeah. Uh, but you have got the slipcase and the original artwork. Well, it's, it just looks great on the shelf. Mm. I mean, you'll, you'll see these in the future videos next to my... I was going to say, because yeah. I thought yeah, I thought they might have made, made a suitable replacement for the ones you've already got, but it's entirely up to yourself, like I say. That I'm going to have to keep like... them ones, because well, uh, I just yeah, like them. Fine. But that's I don't fine. mind double dipping for, for Bruce yeah. Lee, because he's Bruce Lee. Mm. And there we go, you know, the yeah. dragon in all his glory. You know, exactly. So. Yeah. yeah, amazing. And the next one, again, is... Films of Fury. Yeah. Slipcase, Fist of Fury. I believe you get the collector's call as well with this one. Fantastic artwork. You know, timeless artwork. I mean, you know, yeah, superb. Just uh, actually, to be honest, I mean, this is, I always consider, like on that 88 films one, I'll put a picture of it there. I do consider it to be iconic. And, uh, but I've never seen anybody apart from the rank and then the 88 doing that. Yeah. I've never seen anybody like retreading these. Yeah. And even uh, actually altering them slightly. These are going to look. These are going to look good. Wow. So, I hope you're there. And we've got next one, the way of the jogging. Again, collector's card. Lovely slip case. The original artwork. You know, again, you, you can't get better than this. I know. You know, um, again, better extras on the releases, but again, purely for the packaging, you yeah. know, it, it's worth a look. Yeah. Excuse me. Read the fonts on the um, on the sides of this uh, spine jar. I can't believe they've released mm -hmm. these, and you just wonder how come you never find out about these things. Brilliant. And last up, it's Game of Death. Once again, collector's card, great slip case. And I believe this one's got Game of Death too as well. Uh, In fact, I would think out of all these four releases, this has got the most extras. At least it looks like we had an ABS on the back. Yeah. But uh, again, that iconic. Rank video artwork, you know. It is. I tell you what, have you you haven't seen Final Game Game of Death yet? No, the Bruce the Bruce the Bruce, uh, the Bruce Lee one is it? Uh, I'm not the, sure. The one it's like that three hour documentary, but it's got the whole the all the footage that they've got thus far. Oh and right, then, honestly, it's amazing. Oh, really, it's one of the best things I've ever seen. Oh sorry, I was getting confused. Enter the Game of Death. That was what I was thinking of the oh, Bruce yeah. Lee one. Yeah, I was, it was my um, mistake. But you know, you know what I mean. That was on the Arrow box set. It was like an exclusive. They've got all the footage and they put it into this right. big bumper documentary. Right. I've got the box set, but God knows when I get a chance to watch it. But I mean, you know, it, it's I, there. I'll tell you what. Go to that one first. Really, it's one of the best extras. If you like the Game of Death, you'll not see anything like this. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay. I see. And the next one again. I've got. I've got this. I've got this cheap. But uh, hey, what a find for you. It's the Umbrella Entertainment Hammer Horror Box at Volume 1. 
Now you've got three films. You've got The Evil of Frankenstein. You've got Paranoiac, and you've got Nightmare, and you've got a bonus disc. Okay, stop. Hammer time. Yeah. Over hundred original Hammer trailers and TV spots. Wow. So look at that, eh? Hey? Hey, look at that. Hammer tastic. You know it is. No Where rattlers. Well, okay. yeah, but look at this. Mm -hmm. That's cover. I always thought that this cover looked a little bit 3D. Is it, is it not the red and the green? Yeah, yeah it kind of just yeah. stands out that way. I mean, and the thing as well, like I say, the Hammer Time, it's a, tra a, a, a trailer compilation, you know, like chock a block full of Hammer trailers and tra uh, TV spots. Have you seen Paranoiac? No, no. It's a, it's brilliant. Really? It's All of a reason. reason. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Honestly, I'm not just saying it. It's a really good movie. So you, much better than I thought it was going to be. So you could see you in Hammer Heaven at the moment. I'm, I'm, I am in Hammer, Hammer Heaven. Mm -hmm. I can't see it, but I'm in, I'm yeah. in it. I'm amazed. I've got out <laughs> But uh, no, that's, that's what you want, Umbrella Entertainment. So again, you've got you've got different extras to what you get over here. Because if you look at the side there, it's only a, I think, a thousand copies as well. Well, another thing, I just didn't know anything about that. Uh, next up is the uh, Undead Limited Edition. Undead CD soundtrack slipcase. Again, buy one, get one free. To be honest, I was expecting more from this. I've seen better Aussie, Aussie horrors than this. This didn't live up to my expectations. You might like it. Uncle B UK released this on DVD years ago, back in the early noughties. That was how I saw it. Um, I, wasn't, I was expecting better. It has its moments, don't get me wrong. Not, not necessarily a bad film by any stretch of the imagination, but I was expecting more. But you get the CD soundtrack. I think you get a poster as well, I think, and a slipcase as well. <laughs> I was thinking this was like an older movie. Is this, when would you say this? I think it was 2003. Right, because is there a, like an old, I'm not going to say a Hammer one, but is there an old movie called Undead? I'm definitely going to be. Let me well be. Let me well be. Um, I mean, look at this one though. I thought I said the Spielberg brothers. But it's not. No, it's Spielberg. Spielberg yeah. And Ben, right? I know you like your CD soundtracks, so well, there's one in there. Yeah. No, I do, actually. I think I we're talking in the comments uh, about CD soundtracks from, you know, the Arrow stuff they're releasing mm -hmm. from the box sets. They should release a, a put a CD soundtrack. No. You're paying thirty pound. Do you think stick a CD soundtrack? Well, it's it. funny if the if the if like if the likes of Synapse can do it over there, like your gentle on gentle stuff yeah. like on, I will do it over here. Yeah, I can only assume it must be a rights issue or whatever. Maybe it's too expensive. I don't know. No, I just think that for the prices, you could just get that slipped into there because mm -hmm. they do exist in the world. It's not as if they've got to make them. Yeah, you know, or around. And the next one is again Umbrella Entertainment's Miami Connection. This one's got a again. Slipcase CD soundtrack. Uh, I've never seen this one. Looks quite uh, superly cheesy. From the Edgar Syndrome put that out. Yeah, they put it out in the UHD as well. Uh, yeah. This is yours, you read this. You get the CD soundtrack. It, it yeah. went hugely out of print immediately. Mm -hmm. So I never thought I'd ever see that because I did want to see the um, Edgar Syndrome. Well, this, well, this, uh, this, this is yours, you want. It's got, again, plenty of extras. Uh, you know, it's uh, look at that picture from the back as well. <laughs> what is going on there? Yeah. I think I think these uh, sort of like the so uniform, aren't they? Yeah, the and I know you, you like the uniformity on shows, right? and they've got uh, yeah. lovely, you know, the side that uh, uh, the writing on the side is amazing. Mm. Amazing. Now I've seen that you like. I see. I've seen the trailer for Miami Connection. It does look quite quite fun. Oh, it looks great. You know, so it's uh, one to watch. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I never thought I'd get to see that one, but I'm so glad I got that one. Even though it's, you could class it as one of the, the worst ones here. Yeah. It's not I think really, it's going to be great fun. I think if, if you enjoy it, it's, it's not a bad film. Next one is uh, the Osploitation Classics two-disc set of Patrick. Now, this is coming out in UHD this month by Indicator. Indicator in the UK is doing a whole line of Osploitation titles on Blu-ray and mm -hmm. UHD. And this one's coming out this month in UHD if it's done already. Uh, but this is the Aussie, Aussie release slipcase. It's got the original and the remake, so it's a two disc set. Okay, so so the remake. What would the remake be? Do well, we, I know it's a remake, but um, I think it was from twenty thirty. It's got Charles oh, Dance in it. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Charles Dance in it. Yeah, from I'm, sure I've, Hero. I'm sure I've seen Patrick, but it's such a long time ago, I have no recollection of it whatsoever. 
but it's definitely one that I um I would want to see, you know. Yeah. But again, like I say, it's coming out UHD over here, but it's got yeah. different extras. So right. that that's got so between yeah. this one and the UK one, they've got different extras. Um I like that cover. Excuse me. Next one is again Osploitation Classics, the acclaimed documentary, not quite Hollywood, all about the Osploitation uh, boom, you know, Australian exploitation cinema. Um apparently it's a great documentary. You know, really goes into the depth of the um Australian um, exploitation. The Devs, by the way. Hi Devs, you're right. And um, yeah, it's uh, great. Where are you going? Oh uh, right, I Again, covers all the exploitation classics from way back when. I think from the seventies onwards. It could be wrong. I'm not an expert uh, on the on the on the industry, but I'm looking forward to watching this myself sooner or later. Like I say, it comes with a very good reputation, and um, so yeah, let's have a look. See if it's uh, see if you enjoy that one. Never heard this one. Got a character's booklet. Yeah, I like the way that they're doing these. Obviously, they've got them out as a they're not not on the limit. So it's five, that's three. That's not the but no, but yeah. Right then. If I'm right, it's got that you know, it's like those uh eight year film slips. I don't know if Spock lost it, what you call it, when it feels really smooth. Soft touch. Soft no, touch, it's like the yeah. evil speak um subcase. Oh, yes, it's, it's got like a, a sort of like texture. Yeah, it feels yeah. wet. Yeah, I think yeah. I think it's like that. I think it's yeah, like touch. that. I like that. Let me give it. Feelings of a slip cover, but I can't feel it if it's got the shrink. Let's check on. that one, yeah. If I take it off, yeah. let's get that down the line. I will get that added bonus. And the next the bonus. bonus. Yeah. Well, exactly, yes. The next exploitation uh, classics Blu-ray. We've got the slip case release from Nightmares. I think this is meant to be an Aussie Giallo thereabouts. Um it. Yeah, stars um, is a soupy, is it? Sorry, Jenny Newman. I do apologise. Jenny Newman from Hell, Hell Night, the great... Early 81 slasher. What She's in that. It's a brilliant film. And he's in it. And it's really, really good. Uh, got to get that new HD sooner or later. It's about to come out. Uh, again, it's meant, yeah, meant, not, not meant to be too bad. Um, never seen it yet, so your guess will be as good as mine. No, it's it's that well, it's one that I've definitely heard of. Mm. And uh, is this the one that's uh, 101 release? Um, I'm thinking of a different one. I think it could be thinking of a different one. Yeah, um, you know well, what I mean, though, don't you? Are you thinking of snapshot? No, hang on, it's not. No, that. no, it's, it's um, definitely called nightmare or nightmares. It might be. I'm not sure, but it's. Uh, I'm not. I don't think it's the same one. Yeah, though. I don't think it is. Spine number six. Mm -hmm. That's a slippery. I was going. To, I was going to get my note up. Yeah, and the next one is again. This is a. Uh, Collectors cards inside this one. It's Thirst, the 1979 Vampire Thriller. Again, Australian. I believe it stars David Hemmings um, in it as well. Slipcase release. Never seen it. Seen the trailer. Just one of those films I want to see. I've never got a chance to see it yet. Uh, again, jam pack with extras. You know, uh, lovely slipcases. Well, I do like that cover. So, have a look. Actually, Henry Silver's in that as well. I've just remembered. Really? Yeah. Uh, again, it's... it's, it's uh, you know, Remember it's, him from... Uh, that's him from... Uh, what's it called? Amazon on the move. Yeah. yeah. Bullshit or not? Yeah, that's him. Yeah. So yeah, this range of exploitation classics. It's a nice little um very right, consistent like, as well. Yeah. You know? And the good thing is, like I say, they don't skip on the extras of the badging. You know, so yeah. it's your know, effort has been made there. And uh, I'm all I'm always uh, yeah, well exactly, yeah. So far so good. You know. Brilliant. And the next of the Osploitation mm -hmm. classics mm -hmm. line. I, I tell you it was going to be good, didn't I? Yeah, it's uh I'm uh, I'm just glad you you know you're, you're enjoying it. Uh, and again, collector's edition card, case, the survivor. Mm -hmm. Now again, I would I would be surprised if this one comes out by indicator sooner or later, because like I say, they are doing their own exploitation range. I can only assume these titles will be part of that, but only time to time. Again, based on the James Herbert novel. I can't even remember if I've ever read that one. I might have had a copy, but I don't think I've read it. Um but again, uh, Robert Powell, you know, again, jam packed with extras. Uh, so yeah. Have a look. So I definitely read James Herbert books back in the day. Everyone did. Mm. Rats and all that, you know. Uh, Fluke. That was a good book. Fluke was yeah, very entertaining, yeah. Although the film I watched, Fluke, it wasn't that good compared mm. to the movie, uh, the, the book. But then again, I think the book was that good. They couldn't have made a good film out of it. Although the story is brilliant in it. 
when he's the Labrador that comes back to the oh, family. That's right. Like, yeah. You know, that, that's, it was so great. The cover was great on the fluke as well, wasn't it? You know, the dog's sitting there. And there was also the fog and the dark, yeah. which, which were great, great reads as well by James Newman. There was the one called The Ghoul. Uh, I'm not sure about that one. Uh, I just remember his books being everyone passing around, everyone. Yeah, yeah I, I like the book. Lair. Lair. That was just the follow up to the rats, wasn't it? The rats yeah. and then Lair. And then I think it was, was one one called Den or something. I could be wrong, I'm not yeah. sure. No. Free Willy Five. No, oh, right. Okay. How can I forget that one? I know. It's I mean, these are these are ones that I've got. It, a lot of these that I've, that I've got that I've dying to see mm. or I haven't seen for such a long time. It'd be great to get back them. Mm. We were talking a little bit uh, earlier on about like fresh eyes, a different time in your life when you wanted certain things like go was all you wanted in the early days and anything else just was by the by. With mm. Kung Fu movies, you wanted a Kung Fu action, you wouldn't care less about the story. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, mm -hmm. you get more out of it. Mm -hmm. It's like a second rebirth because you go back to the original you go. You can take it from a different aspect, and you you've can. invested sometimes you in the in these movies that might have passed you by, or they might have went over your head mm. back in the day. But you can see them in different lights. Well, like I said before, everything all is new again. It's really simple as that. Everything all is new again. I agree. You know, I mean, like like the Evil Dead. I mean, I used to watch the Evil Dead when I was a kid purely for the gore, you know, for the scares. But I'd watch the Evil Dead now and enjoy it on a visual level, you know, off the camera work, the air and that sort of right. thing. You know, so I can enjoy it more than one level. And I do, I do think it's because as you get older, you do appreciate more than one thing in, yeah. in, a, in, in a particular particular film. Um, moving on, we've got the, again, this has got the soundtrack CD in a slipcase, Dead Kids, also known as, I believe, Small Town Massacre and Strange Behaviour. Yeah. This is the one with the needle in the eye scene. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. that's... that's, that's um, it's very, very well known amongst horror fans, I would imagine. And um, again, uh, directed by Mike Loughlin, who I also believe directed Strange and Venus, which I saw on TV a while back. I hadn't seen it in years, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, right. Yeah, so have a look at that. Tell us what you think. Tangerine Dreams uh, CD is on track yeah. as well. Oh, right. That's brilliant. So I'll be interested in seeing this one because I don't think that I've got that much of a recollection for it. But uh, was this obviously a pre was it? It was released yeah. by, uh, released as Dead Kids by Ira Film Services. Right. Way back when you might know the Steve if you see it, it's not a nasty or anything, is it? No, I don't think it was because some of these section three nasties, you know, you don't even know the nasty. I mean, I, looking for I could be wrong, I mean, I don't think it was uh, right, okay, but just it just ringing the bell for that reason, but maybe not. Yeah, but these, these slip cores are this range is really good. Yeah, yeah. You, do you think they're good? I, I think they're, I think they're brilliant. I mean, I, I don't think they're good anymore. Um, uh, yeah, but uh. You know, they're, they're certainly easy on the eye. Oh, aye. And again, look at this one. Long weekend, CD, soundtrack, lobby card, slipcase, jam packed with extras, more than on the Blu-ray I gave you. So, yeah. which is why I said to you, where do you want? Get rid of your Blu-rays uh, of this one. So, look at that. It's quite heavy as well, I think. It is. It is. Sometimes you get these weighty ones and you think, oh. We've got the CD, soundtrack, we've got lobby cards in there. You know, so it's... Like, it's great that they, they get some movies that do that extra little bit of thing for them. Mm -hmm. They don't have to, but they do it, you know. And that is it's much... Mm -hmm. Actually, that's not too bad as well. That's mm -hmm. So that's, that's what I mean. I mean, you really you can get rid of the one I'll give you uh, right. a, a couple yeah. of years ago because that, that supersedes it in every way. So. And brother, you know, they do some good stuff. They do, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's surprisingly good stuff. I don't think they get enough appreciation from Blu-ray fans, and it's like them and uh, Viavision with the imprint label. Yeah, I'll be the first. I'll be the first to say, yo, please give them a go. We should do some yeah really yeah. good releases. And uh, again, Turkey Shoot with the CD soundtrack in the slipcase. Um, again, this has got more extras than uh, any other release as far as I'm aware. Again, it's packed, uh, jammed to the rafters. CD soundtrack, uh, slipcase. You even get a, a VHS cut of the uh, version of the film, uh, I think like an American VHS version or something like that. Uh, original artwork, you know? Yeah, that's a great artwork. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's brilliant. Now, I think I talked about this in a, in a previous video. Me and you watched this, didn't we, together? We did. Well, brought this over. Yeah, did I think... bring I, over the uncut one or not? I think we did, because what happens at the end with the... Well, I'm I'm not going to... I'm right, not going to... But you think the one we watched was uncut? Was uncut, yeah. Sure if it was yeah, I think it was. Yeah, I think it was. This is it's such a good movie, isn't it? And it doesn't get as much recognition as it should do. Well, it was meant to be originally a much more serious film. It was meant to be much more like... Um, 
like a straightforward, not so much like an exploitation action. Um, however, uh, I think the, bu- the budget was slashed and that had to be the, the, uh, the script was rewritten mm. to make it more like exploitative like, like it yeah. is now. Otherwise, it was originally going to be a much more serious one. Hunting is a national sport. People are the prey. Yeah, great movie. Mm-hmm. This really good. Uh, last but not least, we've got the revised version of The Man from Hong Kong. Again, with the CD soundtrack, slipcase, limited to 3,000 copies. You know, it's got the, it's got the brilliant theme tune, uh, Sky High by Jigsaw. We're blown it all sky high. Yeah. Yeah, that's on this. You've got it on CD. This we'll all deal on. You know, just feel like Jimmy Wang. And uh, I agree, again, you know, this is classic, this. You know, uh, yeah. so, so many great moments and it's such fun. You know, um, just, you know, very unintentionally funny as well as some great lines of dialogue, some just some funny action scenes, uh, but some great stunts as well. Very entertaining, you know. So, again, you don't need the one I gave you earlier on, but if you want to keep it, it's entirely up to you. There we go. That's great. I mean, this this line is just hardly amazing. Yeah, a lot of people speak highly about this movie. Yeah. But you'll find nobody speaks highly about Jimmy Wang Yu, because if you watch the documentary, apparently not quite Hollywood, Everybody who was interviewed about that film has nothing but bad to say about Wang Yu. Really? Because apparently he was, I think he was, he wanted to be, it was all about him. All oh, right, you one know? of them. Yeah, it was all about him. And like I see everybody who looked at Look at that. Yeah, it's lovely. It's lovely. All you got to do is arrange them in num- numerical order. And you, I know, yes. Singing, I know? mean, I couldn't put them on the shelves and not do that because um, obviously I would be, um, I would wake up at night screaming. <laughs> All right. Last but not least, we've got the Via Vision imprint UHD release of The Driver from mm-hmm. 78, Walt Hill, directed by Walt Hill, um, starring Ryan O'Neill and Isabella Johnny, I believe. Uh, Bruce Stern. Bruce Stern as well, yeah. I've never seen this one, but I believe it's a, highly regarded as a crime classic. You know, um, to be honest, it's, it, this came in a box set I, I, I bought because I wanted like a different type in it. I wasn't really interested in this, I'll be honest yeah. with you. If it's my loss, it's my loss, so be it. Um, but uh, yeah, it was if you want it, HD. It's that's, never been played. That's that's amazing. And uh, as you know, I've got a slip cover for this mm-hmm. that was gifted me, and uh, I will put a slip cover over the top of this. Mm-hmm. It's it's a different release from the slip cover, but oh, yeah. it's still slip cover. It. It's, it's, got, it it's got more extras than now release. Uh, it, it, I believe two discs, Blu ray, in the, in the UHD. Uh, now, bearing in mind, not bearing in mind, it, it, it was because it was in the box that it wasn't sealed anyway. It was never been touched, yeah, never been played. No, no. Yeah. So. Well, even if you had it, used it, it would still be in fantastic condition. So we're not going to say anything about that. So look at this. But um, and I think that's your original artwork as well. I think. Really? I think it is. I the new one is like a new, a new one. Yeah, that would imagine that would be. I think even uses the same studio canal transfer as well. Right. I yeah, believe. Yeah. Yeah. It's studio canal down the bottom. But anyway, so this, this is amazing. I just want to thank you once again for this. This is just incredible. This mm. huge. I mean, you should see me. I think it's just like mm. covered. Over a year, over a year in the making of all this, you know. So like I say, this has been built up for well over a year since last January. So which is why there's so much stuff. Mm. It's just incredible. And what we'll probably end up doing um, on, on this oh. videos, you're going to see, I don't know, maybe might be four or five videos uh, coming out. But there will be sort of me going to revisit some of these you know I can talk about them a little bit if I'm going to go re- like talk yeah. about picture qualities and stuff and I was hoping you would do that I was yeah. hoping you would let it be that I'm, I'm dying to know what they look like and say if maybe if you're talking about you know for instance if you wanted to go down this route you wanted to get this like line you know they'd say what they like so I might go through them mm. have a good look at them and mm. do a video and maybe just do a separate video on them I hope so yeah yeah yeah, so. yeah. Also, yeah. yeah. and then um, so that's yeah. So that's what we'll do with that. So you'll, you'll see some offshoots of uh, of these videos. I'll go to it. Yeah. I don't. Everyone I've seen from Umbrella have been good. It's not as if these days it's it's hard to get a bad version mm. of a movie mm. unless they've done like really like a bad like mistake. Mm. So I'm happy about that because um, it is nothing worse when you. You get your hopes up for something, mm-hmm. it just turns out to be trash, and you think, Oh, I don't believe it. You feel totally deflated, yeah. yeah. We've, we've all been there, yeah. Yeah. but it doesn't happen that often this much, unless they no. mean the real fault of it, you know. And then they put it right, so that's good. So, 
what we'll do is we'll be back. There will be definite more videos because there's still stuff coming, you know, and there's going to be more to talk about in these videos. So I just want to thank John once again for coming over. That's fine. It's okay. It's just, just glad to be back after all this time, you know. I know, but we'll not leave it as long next time. Mm -hmm. For definite. So anyway, so thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. You take care. It's good night from me. And it's good night for him. Good night. Good night. All the best now. Stay safe. Yep.